Friends of W2XAF and W2XAD, during the farm forum just preceding, you heard Honorable Grover A. Whalen, president of New York World's Fair 1939, Incorporated, in a discussion of the agricultural aspects of that great exposition which opens its doors to the citizens of the world on April 30th, 1939. Earlier in the day, Mr. Whalen spoke to the listeners of General Electric's Round the World Broadcasting Service and told us of its theme, the world of tomorrow, and its purpose, to contribute to the common weal and to promote peace and goodwill. For approximately the next half hour, you will have the opportunity to overhear informal conversation between Mr. Whalen here in Schenectady and Mr. L.A. Fiore, director of the Argentine Chamber of Commerce, who will speak from the studios of station LSX in Buenos Aires. What these two gentlemen are about to say is not known to anyone, even to each other, since they have never met, nor have they had any correspondence in advance. This is an impromptu exchange of greetings between business leaders of North and South America. Shall we call it uh, a conference at which we are privileged to eavesdrop. First on our schedule is, of course, the contacting of our good friends at station LSX at Buenos Aires. So, hello, LSX. Hello, New York. Uh, who is this talking, please? Bill, Bill Clark from the wire. Well, uh, greetings to you, Mr. Clark. Uh, this is John Sheehan, uh, the director company. Sheehan? Uh, I've heard an awful lot about you, and it's a real treat to uh, be talking with you. It's a pleasure to speak to you, Mr. Sheehan. Well, now, are you all ready for our uh, little party, Mr. Clark? Everybody's ready. Well, uh, that's good. He's here standing uh, sitting beside me, and he's been listening to Mr. Whalen for the last 15 or 20 minutes. Well, he, uh, in other words, Mr. Fiore has the jump on Mr. Whalen in this uh, instance. <laughs> well, now, uh, suppose then that uh, I present to you, Mr. Clark... Uh, uh, Grover A. Whalen, uh, in a personal introduction over this, uh, well, uh, 6,500 miles or so, uh, and ask you then to make the introductions uh, between Mr. Whalen and uh, Mr. Fiore. Is that uh, perfectly agreeable with you? Excellent. Well, now then, may I present, uh, Mr. Clark, Mr. Grover A. Whalen of New York City. Mr. Clark, I'm very happy to uh, say hello to you over this long-distant uh, wire of ours. It's and to tell you that it's a great privilege for me to have this opportunity to chat with you tonight. The thing uh, here, Mr. Whalen, if I recollect correctly, I met you, Mr. Whalen, when you were down here quite a number of years ago. I'm afraid you probably are right about that. Yes. And Don't I... make the years too long, however. <laughs> right, uh, <laughs> Well, uh, Mr. Fury is sitting beside me, and I would like to introduce him to Mr. Whalen. Mr. Fiore, this is Mr. Whalen speaking from you from Select D, New York. Mr. Whalen? Yes. yes, Mr. Fiore. It is Mr. Fiore, director of the Argentine Chamber of Commerce, who fully appreciates what you have said about the exhibition. I want to express in my name and that of our uh, institution our best wishes for the success of the exposition which we understand will be inaugurated in 1939. No doubt, the effort will result not only an excellent education for those who will have the fortune to visit it, but also will create a much better understanding between the people of the United States and those of the Argentina, my country. The president of our chamber, Dr. Tomás Amadeo, exceedingly regret that for the personal reason could not be here with us tonight. And for this reason, to me, I want to congratulate you and your friends for the splendid work you are doing. Our board of directors wish to remember to Mr. E. Russo, to whom we want to extend our greetings. In closing, I wish you the season greetings and all the loss of the world. Thank you, Mr. Fiore. Uh, may I interrupt, gentlemen, uh, for just a moment and uh, suggest, before we get into the informal part of our meeting, uh, that Mr. Whalen 
Uh, give us a few words telling the people of the uh, Argentine how things are progressing in respect to their participation in the fair. I think those who live in Argentina, as well as citizens of other lands, will welcome from the head of the World's Fair a first-hand account of progress uh, being made and what they may expect to see here. So I think perhaps if we start with that, Mr. Whalen, then uh, you will excite some questions and curiosity, and uh, perhaps all of us will just deluge you with questions for the rest of the half hour. Is that satisfactory to you? Thank you, it is. I was very glad to hear Mr. Fiore uh, make reference to uh, our commissioner for South America, Edward Roosevelt. He came back and reported his uh, splendid reception, which he received at the hands of the uh, Argentine, and uh, the enthusiastic reception that the plans of the New York Wales Fair for 1939 received uh, while he was there. He came back most enthusiastic, and he still feels that uh, the representation from South and Central America will be 100%. And just uh, along those lines, I might say that we hope that uh, the Argentine will um, make their participation uh, uh, such in a very short time that we can count upon them as being among the family of nations that will participate in the New York World's Fair. I understand that uh, the general elections have interfered somewhat with the official acceptance of President Roosevelt's uh, invitation, but I take it that uh, uh, we may expect to hear officially very shortly. However, I should like to say that uh, the response to the President's invitation, which was issued some time ago, has been so great that uh, we shall find it difficult to uh, provide room for all the nations that wish to participate. And we should feel badly if we didn't have the Argentine as one of the nation, uh, family of nations. Uh, at the present time, it might interest you to know, uh, Mr. Fiore, that 44 nations have already uh, entered... Uh, into agreement with the New York World's Fair to participate, and uh, many, uh, already 25 or 30 of the commissions have come to New York in order to survey the situation and develop their plans for uh, participation. So that um, in, the, in the government area, uh, which will provide the uh, home for uh, all nations, the uh, United States government will stand at the head of uh, the group of uh, South American and uh, Central American uh, countries with the European and Far East countries on either side so that, uh, in truth, we shall have a real international fair uh, with all the families of the world represented in New York in 1939, and we want to be sure that you're with us. And what have you to say in answer to that, Mr. Fiore? I, I understand that the people of Argentina are very willing to be present on that inactivity. But I would suggest, if I may do so, that the, also the government should be interested in sending representation to that. We of Argentina always like to be in contact with the United States people through whom we learn a lot of things that we can apply immediately in our own for this reason, I think we should not omit any effort to try to persuade the Argentine industry as well as the merchants that I think will be a little bit of a mistake if the government will not be interested in being represented in that opportunity. I myself, with uh, being educated in the United States, it goes without saying that I will be present. But I repeat it again. That in order to succeed entirely, or what we say in the state, 100%, it will be much better to persuade the government to be represented. Well, indeed, uh, we have left no stern, uh, stone unturned to uh, induce your government to be represented, and we shall continue along those lines. We uh, know that uh, you will be happy uh, in your participation because of the character of the fair, which I understand that you listened into my broadcast a short time ago on the farm program. We uh, are hoping to receive in New York 
uh, as a minimum 50,000 visitors from all over the world, and you 50 million rather, and you will be able to uh, understand from uh, that number that New York uh, will be the hospitality center of the world. Uh, we feel that uh, New York is merely the place, if I may reiterate some of the things that I said before, where this exposition is going to be held. It might be held in the Argentine and still have the same pur high purpose uh, that we have in New York, with, uh, with the same elements of success that we hope to have here. Uh, we feel that it will provide a peace table for the uh, countries of the world around which they may sit and discuss the common problems that face all of us, both economic and social. With the annihilation of distance, such as been uh, the work over a long period of years of the, this great, uh, the great General Electric Co Corporation, we find that uh, you, for example, are right in the next room as we talk to you tonight. The 6,000 uh, miles of space that uh, separate you and us from each other at the moment seem only as if you were right next door. Your voice is coming through clear, and although we have a temperature up here of something about 18 above uh, zero, and you perhaps are up around uh, 98 uh, above zero, we, um, we still feel that you're very close to us as far as uh, uh, the, uh, our conversation goes, and uh, truly so as far as our great friendship for your great people. And I might tell you here that uh, the affection that everybody has in the uh, studio for you personally and your associates in the uh, studio down the Argentine is such that you'd be very happy if you heard the friendly comments that were made before I sat at this microphone. Hello? Yes. Uh, Mr. Wellen, I, I think you realize why I emphasize on the fact that the, I wish the Argentine government is being represented in the experience. One of the main reasons is that we would like to show our status piece in New York. I was one of the delegates of the Argentine government in the Pan American Commercial Conference in 1945. And also, I had the honor to meet the President Roosevelt, to whom we had a little bit of a chat about the same thing. What we really want, and I hope to soon, is the, that the Senate of Washington will approve our uh, export. And I would imagine that the day that we can be able to ship anywhere from 30 to 50,000 tons of fresh seeds to the United States, all the little friction we eat standing today will be 100% eliminated. Uh, Mr. Priori, the trade treaties which you uh, have just referred to, I found uh, were of great benefit in the relations which uh, now exist between the United States and uh, those countries of Europe uh, with which we have entered into these agreements. And I'm quite sure that our uh, South American uh, countries and uh, that are so close to us that the result of trade treaties with you uh, will be even more beneficial than they are between the European countries and the United States. But those of us who have given our life to commerce and industry feel that uh, trade treaties uh, such as have been recently worked out uh, with the Secretary of State and Foreign Powers have been of great value uh, not only to the country with which we've made this agreement but with our own country. There have been some of our thoughtless uh, uh, citizens who sometimes felt that these agreements were taking uh, business away from the United States. But uh, those of us who have had an opportunity to study the subject are uh, not of this opinion and we believe that uh, the country, our country, from a purely selfish point of view, will be much better off if the free, free flow of trade is encouraged not only between the, the South and Central American uh, countries, but also between Europe and the Far East. 